You know, right now, electric crews from all over are working to restore power here in Nottoway County and nearby to thousands of families. But get this, some households are nearing week two without the lights on. Yeah. Feel nice of you. Thank you. You're welcome. Man. They're doing the best they can. Dan Martin and his co-workers take a break from working overtime restoring power. Coming to work at 6.30 in the morning, it's 9.30 before we go home at nighttime. The Blackstone line worker is also without electricity. I don't have power. Um, I got a little small generating gas logs. We stay warm. We cook on the grill. As of Tuesday afternoon, more than 6,700 members of the Southern Electric Cooperative are still in the dark, nearly two weeks after the ice storm. Meanwhile, outside SEC headquarters on West Virginia Avenue. There's still quite a few people without power. For a second day, Joe Paschal stands alone in protest. And it's been a constant battle with him. Upset at what he says is mishandling of the entire restoration process by the utility company's management. The elderly and the people on oxygen and these people that are out there that really need help. That checks me off. An SEC official blames the persistent outages on hard to get to locations. Some crews are forced to use farm tractors to pull their equipment through the forest and mud. On Tuesday, Blackstone chiropractor Dr. Taylor Myers organized this cookout for the first responders. They're working themselves to death. They're sacrificing time with their family, friends, themselves, their health. For those still without power, Martin says help is on the way. Be patient. Hey, I mean, co-op boys, they they bought multiple crews in here. They got, I don't know, eight, nine hundred guys in there helping them. So and they'll get your lights on, you know, you know, they're doing the best they can, you know. And SEC says about 80% of their infrastructure was damaged by this ice storm. They estimate nearly every single one of their members should get the power back on by Friday, calling this a once-in-a-lifetime event. Working for you in Blackstone, I'm Brennan King, CBS 6 News.